guys so this is part three of my four ways to use nastation video series I've done two um, in the last few days so this is the third part um, so today I'm going to be talking about um, making a tincture we're going to make a nastation tincture um, if you've been following uh, me in the last few days uh, when I posted the other two videos you will learn that nastations are uh, very medicinal, they are antifungal, they are full of vitamin C and also they have antibiotic properties. So if you want to just have uh, something handy in the household to use uh, for infections um, and things like that then um, this video is going to be very useful. Of course for serious illnesses uh, go and see a professional herbalist or a professional doctor and get checked out but for light infections just around the house um, for kids uh, for yourself then uh, this is uh, this tincture is really really good to have handy okay so uh, the first part of this video I'm going to show you how I harvest um, nastations not just nastations but in general how I harvest uh, my herbs um, as you know, I do everything um, in a spiritual way. I base everything that I do um, around my spirituality. So I will show you uh, exactly how I harvest um, uh, my herbs. Um, to start with, I uh, thank the earth for providing us with the medicine. And then the second thing I do is I uh, ask the plant itself for permission to harvest and the third part is I give an offering to the plant that I'm harvesting uh, the herbs from so um, let's go now to the bed of nastasiums and I'll show you how I do it okay so we're here on my favorite bed of nastasiums um, so whenever I go out into the garden to harvest uh, or whenever I go into the um, forest foraging I always take two things with me the first thing is my little book of prayers and book of gratitude um, and also I take an offering so offering is uh, something that I give to the plant whenever I harvest something from it um, sometimes it's dried flowers sometimes I take crystals um, if it's in my garden I always um, take food based um, offerings so in here I've got nettle seeds mixed up with fever few flowers and some water so basically the nettle seeds and the fever few will provide nutrition to the plant and the water will provide uh, nourishment because it's been dry okay um, so we're just going to start off by um, saying thank you to the earth and then I'm going to ask the uh, nastation plant to allow me to harvest uh, leaves and flowers so okay um, I would like to take this moment to express um, gratitude to Mother Earth for providing us with nourishment healing and beauty may you be honored may you be forever blessed thank you okay to the nastation sacred holy one of the plant world i come to you with honoring and respect i come seeking to align myself with your healing please allow me to harvest your leaves and your flowers to use as medicine my heart is open and full of gratitude thank you okay so now that's done i will then find uh, an area where the plant is rooted and then I will put the uh, offering which is uh, in this case uh, nutrition so I can just trace the stem and then I can see that this is where the roots are and I'll just pull that there if it's dried flowers I'll just scatter them everywhere okay so I'll just show you now how I harvest nastations okay so we've got this very long um, stem so you can see the leaves sort of stem from the main stem and then you have this very long uh, stem that branches off from the mother stem so what I do is 
my cut here. This bit here, I will use as uh, use this in a juicer because these have got a lot of juice, and in this case, I'm making a tincture, and I don't want a lot of nasturtium juice in there. I just want uh, just the leaves, so I will separate the stem uh, from the leaves. The leaves I will use in the tincture, and then the stems I will use them in either a juice or a salad or uh, a foot rub um, lots of other things that you can use okay so i'll just continue to do that and then the flowers are the same so i separate the stem from the flower so i'm going to tincture the leaves and the flowers and then stems i'll use them elsewhere Okay, so we'll now go up to uh, the table and then I'll show you how I make the tea. Okay, so the nasturtiums and the nasturtium flowers are ready to be tinctured. So I'll just go through a few things that you need. Um, first of all, you need um, a glass jar with a lid and you also need um, some vodka. I will put a description in the comments so that you know what type of vodka I use. Um, in America they use uh, the proofing of the vodka as the measurement of alcohol. Um, in England we use um, a percentage so I'm using um, a 40% um, uh, vodka. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give these leaves a brush just to dust off any insects or creepy crawlies that might be there. Um, just like that. I use this very light fluffy brush just to um, make sure that I don't hurt or uh, kill the uh, aphids, ants or any other insect that might be attached to the leaf. So it's just a light brushing into the flower bed just like that. So all these have been cleaned already and what I'm going to do is um, just get the jar that I'm going to use and place it here and I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, so these nasturtiums leaves are quite large. You can see some of them are almost as big as my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break them into small pieces. So just like so. There's just a rough Sort of breaking of the leaves and then just pack them into the jar so I'm going to do a layer of leaves and then a layer of flowers so flowers next go in there just push it slightly and then leaves again flowers and lastly leaves so I'm not packing it in too tightly I'm just sort of pushing down the leaves so that I can get rid of any air pockets that might be uh, in between the space between the leaves so just like that okay now that's done I'm just going to pour the vodka into the jar so you really want to top the jar off right to the brim so I'm just going to push down the leaves to create a little bit more space So the reason why I top this all the way up is so that the leaves and uh, all the plant material are fully submerged. They're not sticking out above the, um, the alcohol. Uh, if you allow your plant material to sort of stick out um, above the alcohol, then your tincture will risk uh, oxidizing. Okay, so that's ready. So what you want to do next is to just close the jar tightly, like so. 
so that would just sit um, in a cupboard for four to six weeks after which I would then strain out the plant material and uh, bottle the tincture into a brown bottle a brown glass bottle so there we go we now have our nice nasturtium tincture uh, so this tincture can be used um, as um, an uh, for antifung as an antifungal you can treat uh, light infections ear infections um, here's one that I made earlier on so I've got my two tinctures here ready for use okay so I hope you have enjoyed um, the video and please check out my other uh, four ways to use Nastasia videos that I made earlier on um, they one of them is for um, a smoothie a juice and then the other one is for a creamy sauce so I hope you will check those out too okay so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye